Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, what is the name of the currency sanitizing device which is developed by Research Center Imrath? And guys, this currency sanitizing device is named as Nots Clean. That is the answer. Now let's start today's session. First question for the day, consider the following statements with respect to UV light. Statement 1. UV light from the sun has shorter wavelengths than visible light. Statement 2. The full spectrum of UV radiation is sourced from the sun and can be subdivided into UVA, UVB and UVC rays. And Statement 3. UVC rays are the most harmful and are completely absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A. 1 and 2 only. Option B. 2 and 3 only. Option C, 1 and 3 only and option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, here all the above statements are correct. So our answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, UV light from the sun has shorter wavelengths than visible light. So it is not visible to the naked eye. And UV radiation's full spectrum is sourced from the sun and can be classified into UVA, UVB and UVC rays according to their wavelength. And uh, they differ in their biological activity and the extent to which they can penetrate the skin, these rays. And the key idea is, shorter the wavelength, the most harmful the UV radiation is. However, shorter wavelength UV radiation is less able to penetrate the skin. And research shows that UV light kills cells and increased exposure can cause cells to become carcinogenic and increases the risk of getting cancer and if you compare these races UVC rays has short wavelength and the most harmful rays are UVC rays only and but they are completely absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere and does not reach uh, Earth's surface and UVB rays has medium wavelength and it is biologically active and cannot penetrate beyond as superficial skin layers and it is responsible for delayed tanning and uh, burning it enhances skin aging and significantly promotes the development of skin cancer and exposure to UVB, ray, UVB rays can cause DNA and uh, cellular damage in living organisms and most solar UVB is filtered by atmosphere and UVA rays which has relatively long wavelength and it accounts for approximately 95% of UV radiation reaching Earth's surface and it penetrates into deeper layers of the skin and is responsible for immediate tanning and it enhances the development of uh, skin cancers also. So that is this uh, UV rays and uh, this was recently in news as nation began uh, begin relaxing restrictions after nationwide lockdown. Scientists are studying the use of ultraviolet germicidal irradiation UVGI to detect the virus in public places and disinfect contaminated public spaces to stop the transmission of the virus. Actually this UVGI replicates UV wavelengths and uses its destructive properties to target pathogens and it disinfects contaminated spaces, air and water and helps in preventing certain infectious disease from spreading. And according to US Centers for Disease Prevention and Control CDC, UVGI is a promising method for disinfection. So that was recently in news. That's why this question is asked. Now we'll move to second question. Second question is Swastvayu. Recently seen in the news is related to option A, air pollution detection device by IIT Madras. Option B, device to purify air by DRDO. Option C, Scheme for rejuvenation of glaciers in Himalayas. Option D. Ventilator device developed by National Aerospace Laboratory, Bangalore. Guys, first Vayu is a ventilator device developed by National Aerospace Laboratory, Bangalore. So, our answer is option D. So, guys, first Vayu is a BAPAP ventilator for the use of non critical, non ICU cases of COVID 19 and it is developed by National Aerospace Laboratories Bangalore and BAPAP stands for Bi-Level Positive Airway Pressure it is a type of positive pressure ventilator actually for air to enter the lungs 
a pressure gradient must exist between the airway and the alveoli and this can be accomplished either by raising the pressure at the airway that is positive pressure ventilation and another method is by lowering the pressure at the level of alveolus that is negative pressure ventilation so our first value is a positive pressure ventilator and it is connected with an oxygen concentrator and will be ideal to treat mod moderate or mid-stage severe COVID-19 patients who do not require in intubation and invasive ventilation and this ventilator is ideal for treating COVID-19 patients in wards makeshift hospitals dispensaries and homes in the current Indian COVID-19 scenario and the major advantage of this machine is that it is simple to use without any specialized nursing cost effective compact and configured with majority of indigenous components and this has been certified for safety and performance by national accreditation board for testing and calibration laboratories nabl so that was uh, it is a recent development that's why this question is asked moving to the last question for the day last question is with reference to global nutrition report 2020 consider the following statement statement one it was conceived following the first nutrition for growth initiative submit n4g in 2013 and statement to india is among 88 countries that are likely to miss global nutrition targets by 2025 so which of the above statements is are correct option a one only option b two only option c both one and two and option d neither one nor two guys the correct answer here is it is option c both one and two both the statements are correct so guys this global nutrition report is a report card on world's nutrition globally regionally and country by country and on efforts to improve it it is an independently produced annual stock take of the state of world's nutrition it is a multi-stakeholder initiative consisting of a stakeholder group independent expert group and report secretariat so it is not published by any well-known organizations like who FA or anything like that it's an independently produced document and it was conceived first in the first nutrition for growth in initiative submit n4g in 2013 and it was first published in 2014 and the 2020 report stated that india is among the 88 countries that are likely to miss global nutrition targets by 2025 and according to this report india will miss targets for all four nutritional indicators for which there is data available actually there are in total six nutritional targets to be achieved by 2025 and out of this four data for four nutritional targets are available and india is india will miss these four and uh, they are these four are standing among under five children anemia among women women of reproductive age and childhood weight and uh, exclusive breastfeeding these are the four targets for which data available and actually this six nutrition targets were set by 2012 world health assembly and uh, identified these targets for maternal infant and young child nutrition and uh, it is to be met by 2025 and these six are reduce standing by 40 percent in children under five age five years of age and reducing anemia by 50 percent among women in the group age group of 19 to 49 years and ensuring a 30 percent reduction in low birth weight and ensuring no increase in childhood weight and fifth one is increasing the rate of exclusive breastfeeding in the first six months up to at least 50 percent and the last target is reducing and maintaining childhood wasting to less than five percent so that are the six nutritional targets and guys it's time for quiz question and today's quiz question is the 2019 global hunger index is published by which organization so please post your answers in the comment section that's it that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section Thank you for watching.